They may not be planets themselves, but they're every bit as fascinating as the worlds they orbit. They are the top 10 most amazing moons in the solar system. For this list, I'm focusing primarily on those satellites that have been examined up close by passing spacecraft. Also, for the sake of spotlighting the worlds that may not be as familiar to you, I'm excluding Earth's moon from this list. So, let's get started. Number 10, Hyperion. This odd-looking moon of Saturn's bears a strong resemblance to a used bath sponge, but that's because it's mostly made up of porous water ice. Hyperion is about as dense as an ice cube. The strangest thing about Hyperion is the way that it moves. Instead of rotating about a set axis in a certain amount of time, it tumbles around as it orbits Saturn, with no set time of day. This leads many scientists to believe it is the remnant of a larger moon shattered by impact. With a jagged surface and a haphazard motion, Hyperion is quite literally a rough and tumble world. Number 9. Mimas. That's no space station up there. Mimas is just one good example of how life can imitate art in the strangest of ways. Its most distinguishing feature, which is not capable of destroying planets via a laser by the way, is the giant crater Herschel, named after its discoverer Sir William Herschel. Covering a third of the moon's diameter, it's an impact scar that gives Mimas a terrifying appearance. Even more remarkable is a temperature map of the area in which we find that Mimas has a Pac-Man heat signature. While there are other moons in the solar system with large craters, Mimas is easily the best known. It's like a giant pop culture reference in space. Number 8. Iapetus. You've probably heard of the dark side of the moon. Not that one. Well, here's a moon where that's a literal thing. When Giovanni Cassini discovered Iapetus in 1671, he noted that he could only see it clearly when it was on one side of Saturn. He concluded that one half of Iapetus must be much darker than the other. Centuries later, passing spacecrafts confirmed Cassini's hypothesis. While we aren't exactly sure what the dark material is or why it's only confined to one side of Iapetus, it may come from the evaporation of ice on the surface, which leaves behind dark patches, or material swept up by Iapetus as it orbits Saturn. Another unusual feature of this moon is a long range of mountains near its equator. Some of these mountains stretch taller than Everest, a remarkable sight indeed. Alright, that's enough of Saturn's moons for a while. Number 7, Miranda. This moon of Uranus wasn't initially thought to be that interesting. In fact, the only reason Voyager 2 observed Miranda so closely was because it happened to be nearby when the spacecraft was making its closest approach to Uranus. But Miranda proved to be far from a disappointment. Images from Voyager show a world covered with terrains unlike any ever seen before in the solar system. With canyons and ridges, and huge rope-like structures on its surface, Miranda could probably be referred to as Frankenstein's moon. A giant cliff that would nearly touch a spacecraft in a low orbit juts out from Miranda's icy landscape. An ATV ride here would be the thrill of a lifetime. Number 6. Ganymede. As the largest moon in the solar system, Ganymede is wide enough to swallow the planet Mercury. Ganymede's composition is a relatively even mixture of rock and ice. It has something of a patchy appearance. The darker parts of its surface are old and heavily cratered, while the lighter, younger areas are covered with grooves. Ganymede's possession of a small magnetic field is what makes it truly unique. The only way for a magnetic field to exist is if there are fluid motions in the moon's core creating an electric current, something unexpected for a moon like Ganymede. It's a more active place than first impressions would indicate, and Ganymede is definitely on the list as a target for future missions. Number 5. Triton Neptune's system of 14 moons is a pretty sparse and unimpressive bunch. That is, with the exception of the largest moon, Triton. Discovered only a few weeks after Neptune itself in 1846, Triton has always been something of an oddity. For one, it orbits Neptune backwards, clockwise as opposed to counterclockwise like most other moons, in a highly inclined yet nearly circular orbit. For another, there's its surface. Cracks and grooves cut across Triton more than impact craters. 
A polar cap covered with nitrogen and methane ice dominates the South Pole. Strangest of all is the presence of geysers. Several can be seen erupting plumes of liquid nitrogen into the air. Yes, I said air. Triton also possesses a thin, nitrogen-rich atmosphere. It's not enough to keep the heat in. Triton is a bitter cold, negative 391 degrees Fahrenheit, but it's still a fascinating, active outpost at the edge of the solar system. Number 4. Io. Any moon with a face like this is bound to have something interesting going on. Looking more like a cheese pizza than a regular moon, there's a very good reason for why Io is like this. Erupting volcanoes. With over 400 such features erupting plumes up to 200 miles above the surface, Io is the most geologically active world in the solar system. The pull of Jupiter's gravity, as well as that of the other moons, continuously squashes and stretches Io, causing its interior to remain hot and keep the volcanoes erupting. If that weren't enough, Jupiter strips a ton of ionized compounds from Io every second. This creates an area of intense radiation around Jupiter known as the Io Plasma Taurus. The radiation around Io is so deadly it would kill a person in minutes. It's quite a fascinating and lethal world, all right. Don't expect any manned missions to Io anytime soon. Number 3. Enceladus. Planetary scientists expect to find craters on a moon or rocky planet, but when the surface is smooth and they hardly show up, they know something must be up on that world. Such is the case with Enceladus. With a surface that reflects almost all the light that hits it, Enceladus is among the brightest objects in the solar system. The lack of many craters and the presence of grooves on its surface present a puzzle to astronomers. The Cassini spacecraft soon found out what was going on. Passing behind Enceladus, it saw water ice plumes jetting out of the South Pole from a region known as the Tiger Stripes. This water ice erupted from Enceladus helps to shape Saturn's diffuse E-ring and contributes water vapor to the planet's atmosphere. A possible subsurface ocean may be the source for the plumes, and if that's the case, further study of this moon is a must. Enceladus may not be large, but it affects Saturn in a big way. It isn't the only moon thought to have such an ocean, though. Number 2. Europa Craters on this moon are so hard to come by that you could almost count all of them up by hand. Instead of being dominated by meteorite impacts, Europa is covered by a series of many long, narrow, dark streaks. Close-up images reveal these to be areas where the moon's crust is shifted. With a jagged surface that has many things in common with Earth's frozen Arctic Ocean, scientists believe that Europa may be hiding an ocean of its own not far below its frigid surface. This ocean, being warm and fluid enough to produce the cracks up above, may be a haven for extraterrestrial life, they say. NASA and other space agencies around the world have a burning desire to send missions to Europa. Studying the moon up close and literally digging deeper may bring to light some exciting discoveries. Before I give you my number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. And now, number one, Titan. The largest moon of Saturn and the second largest in the solar system, Titan is very aptly named. A thick orange nitrogen atmosphere hides the surface from view. Knowing how important it was to explore this moon, mission specialists outfitted the Cassini spacecraft with a special landing probe just for Titan. In 2005, the Huygens probe descended into the clouds while Cassini flew by and took measurements. Together, they found Titan to be quite an unforgettable place. Dark plains, sand dunes, and mountains are predominant, but there are a few features which appear to have been carved by flowing liquid. Sure enough, observations have confirmed that there are lakes at Titan's poles. These lakes are not filled with water, but with liquid methane and other hydrocarbons. A methane cycle, not unlike Earth's water cycle, provides methane rain, creating the features we see. 
though cold and distant, Titan is the most Earth-like moon in terms of appearance that we've seen. It's sort of a hidden gem, for lack of a better term. And those are the top 10 most exciting moons in the solar system. Think I picked the best? Would you have arranged things differently? Though 180-some moons are known to exist in the solar system, only about 40 have been examined in detail, so there are bound to be a few more interesting bodies around. We just have to keep looking.